Uh, welcome to Off the Charts, uh, another episode of Dan's Album Analysis and Rating. Today, I have Rat Reach for the Sky, which comes suggested from Kevin at uh, Sonic Boom TV. You probably remember him from uh, the Kansas Connection, the panel we do once every month or two months there, so... Thank you, Kevin, for your suggestion. So now it's your turn. So we're going to be doing Rat Reach for the Sky. Before we start off, cheers to you all. And remember, this type of episode where I do a deep uh, analysis and rating of a specific album is all up to you, the viewers. So leave your suggestions once again. I write them down, and then I'm going to give myself some time to listen to the album properly and then do my analysis on it. So, like I said, leave your suggestions in the comments, and I'll tackle another album. If you're not familiar with my discography, look at my past episodes, or go check out my Instagram, uh, the link below. Uh, that'll show you all the... Um, vinyl of the day that I put so I have over 1400 albums almost 1500 so uh, you'll have lots to choose from so here we go today we'll be doing rat reach for the sky which came out in 1988 produced by Bo Hill and Mike Stone now I don't know if it's the same thing where in wherever you are in the world there I feel that this is sort of Rat's lost album from their heyday. Nobody ever talks about it that much. They know it exists. I remember knowing it existed, not buying it at the time. I didn't see any videos for it, for this album. But it's odd that I knew I've seen videos for Dancing on the Cover and after uh, Detonator. So yeah, I find this one to be sort of like the lost album from their heyday. A good album, too. I'm not sure why it's not regarded or sort of lost, but you know, let's go and tackle this one here together. Uh, Rat on this album is Stefan Percy on vocals, uh, Warren DeMartini on guitars and background vocals. Sorry, Robin Crosby, rest in peace, on guitar and background vocals. Juan Crucier on bass and background vocals and of course Bobby Blotzer on drums harmonica also and washboard for this album there's one song with washboard and uh, harmonica I think it's harmonica that I hear uh... anyway so let's go so song one we have city to city I think it starts off with a really good banger here. Um, love the song. Great bottom end, too. I'm going to give that one a 9 out of 10. Now, I bought this album. I discovered, well, I knew of Rat um, when they came out. Well, I, I saw their videos and all that. never really bought anything until that 81, 91 Greatest Hits Rat and Roll came out. And I was like, oh my god, all these songs are friggin' gems. And of course, comes this album. It's like, yeah, I want a woman. Uh, there was a video for it. Never saw it. Um, I'm going to give that one a 10 out of 10. Sure, it's a little cheesy. Uh, I remember back in high school, we thought that the video was taking place in a high school. And they were taking videos of young girls in high school. But it's actually in... <laughs> Cons in an arena at a concert hall. So I was like, okay, I guess makes more sense there. Uh, yeah, I want a woman giving that one a 10 out of 10. Next up, Way Cool Junior. I think that's where the harmonica is. Definitely the washboard. There you go. Steve, I know it's your favorite song. So just for you, I'm going to give Way Cool Junior a good 10 out of 10. Yeah, it's different, and love the song. It's it's something different. I mean, for Rat, it's different. It's not really, but compared to all their other songs, it was a little uh, 
different. Uh, it's got like a very good swing on it. There's, I think there's some saxophone on it too. I'm not sure who does that. Um, what the hell does a harmonica come in? Is this this? It's got to be this song. That's the only song that I know that's got different instruments in it. But anyway, Way Cool Junior giving that one a 10 out of 10. Next comes Don't Bite the Hand That Feeds. Now, to me, this is sort of like the first miss of the album. It's good. It's I enjoy it. I don't hate it. But it's like one of those very forgotten songs. Uh, one of the two songs that are probably my least favorite of this album. So, Don't Bite the Hand That Feeds. I'm going to give that one a 6 out of 10. Next up comes one of their, I, I would say probably their second ballad. And it's, I use the term loosely, I would say ballad-ish. Uh, I Want to Love You Tonight, which I think is great. Um, I don't love it, but I think it's one of their better ballads there. I'm going to give that one a 7 out of 10. Now, the next side, or the last five songs, if you have the CD, are kind of like, to, to me, like the forgotten songs. Like this, to me, was like one of the forgotten albums from their discography. Side 2 is kind of like nobody knows what these songs are if you just talk to some normal Joe there. Um, but chain reaction, it's okay. The, the lyrics are uber cheesy. Okay. But it's a great song. I love that song. I'm going to give that one a nine out of 10. I was like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with this song at all. Love it. So yeah, chain reaction, giving a nine out of 10. No surprise is a decent song of a good one too. I am going to give that one a 7 out of 10. I love how the, the song starts with, with just the vocals being echoed and then starts off there. Um, yeah, I, I like that, that song. No surprise, 7 out of 10. Bottom line has got to be the other one that is my least favorite. So, yeah, Don't Bite the Hand that Feeds gave it a 6 out of 10. I'm going to give the same thing to Bottom Line. A 6 out of 10 also. Decent song, just really does nothing for me. I don't hate it. That's why it's still got a 6. Uh, but yeah, bottom line, 6 out of 10. Then we come with what's... See, these last two songs, when I first bought, bought them, I just... Not that I skipped them, but I just listened to them. I had absolutely no opinion on those last two songs. That's obviously changed, especially today since I'm doing a rating. So what's it going to be? I used to not care for this song at all. What's it going to be, sweet Elena? Is it him or me? Blah. I don't know. But uh, now today I'm going to give that a 7 out of 10. It's actually very grown on me. But to me, the one that's grown... The, the most is what I'm after. I'm giving that one an 8 out of 10. Again, those last two songs were like very ignored by myself. Um, yeah, what I'm after, I love that one a little bit more than I do what's going to be there. So yeah, 8 out of 10 for what I'm after. I think it ends the album good. Ask me that 10, 15, 20 years ago, and I'll probably just be like, yeah, it's... A weak ending, but the more I listen to it, the more I do love um, what what I'm after. So there you go, eight out of ten. And the total for this album is seven point nine out of ten. Not too shabby for, but the other ones you'll like, especially Invasion of Your Privacy. If I gave this one an, an almost eight out of ten, you can imagine how good. Those three other um, albums are. Um, but there you go. Rat. There are five first albums to me are all gold there. Like it's great stuff there. So Rat, Reach for the Sky. I'm giving this one a total of 7.9 out of 10. 
So I would like to thank again Kevin for his suggestion. Uh, that's Kevin from at Sonic Boom TV, uh, part of the Kansas Connection uh, panel. And there you go. So once again, if you do want uh, to have an album ranked and, and analyzed, you know, write it in the comments below, and I shall do my best uh, to um, do that for you. Like I said, I've got a list already. If I don't have the album, I'll let you know. But I always, I always check out that album that you guys recommend, and maybe I would say. 70% of the time, they actually end up in my wish list. No, 100% of the time, they end up in my wish list. 70% of the time, they actually end up in my house later on uh, through the mail. So, uh, yes, I do listen to your suggestions and write them down and actually go and uh, buy them. So, there you go. On that note, thank you for watching today's episode. Once again, put your comments if you want your album or an album ranked. I'll give you a shout out because like I said, you, the viewer are in charge of this Wednesday episode. So on that note, thank you guys for watching and we shall see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>